Hi guys, Jonathan Chow here with Jay Chan Golf, and as we know, the golf swing is really complicated. We know that with all the amount of videos on YouTube talking about intricate little things in the golf swing. I've got loads of them on my page as well, but if you're someone out there who really get their mind gets extremely cluttered by technique, and you really feel like that's blocking your ability in some sense to actually play good golf, this is the video for you because we're going to really simplify the golf swing, really easy terms. We're probably going to give you three little things to think about and that's all you really need to care about in the golf swing. Extremely simple and you go and do this, you'll be playing good, uncomplicated golf, I can guarantee you. So guys, before we get into that, please make sure you like the video and if you're new to the channel as well, please make sure you subscribe. If you want nice, easy to understand golf instruction, good drills to apply, J Chown Golf is your place to get it. So guys, our first key here is swinging around the shoulders. Now what that really means, what I mean by that is swinging your hands around and underneath your shoulders. So as you're swinging in the back swing, your hands are underneath your right shoulder. So you feel like you're swinging there. I don't really mean them being down here. I mean, you just swing it underneath and around your shoulders and the same thing the way through. What that's going to do for you guys in the simplest terms, that's going to keep your swing path on a nice spot. It's going to really prevent you from getting overly out to win, especially because we know golf swing, we swing on an arc around our body. We do not swing straight up, straight down, where that's a lot of where a lot of golfers go wrong, when, especially when you start off playing golf, is you're thinking, right, you're swinging with your arms and yours are swinging, you've got to swing straight back, straight through. What that will do, that will cause you to really develop quite a slicey pattern. Whenever with golfers that come for lessons, they say they want to get rid of their bad habits. This is one of the ones, that bad habit, that ingrains itself quite early. If we can get you guys to really feel like you're swinging around your shoulders in the simplest terms, that's going to be better because, of course, it's going to make you swing on your arc. It's going to make you swing on a better plane and it's also going to make you so you've got nice depth to your hands at the top of the backswing, something I've talked about on my channel quite a lot of as well. Really simple and the word is swing here guys, really making sure we're swinging around our shoulders and that's really going to make it ultra simple for you. So this isn't something only for beginners, this is for everyone. If you struggle really with mental clarity when you go out and play golf, you really struggle with getting all these technical thoughts in there. This is a brilliant one, just swinging around your shoulders from back shoulder to left shoulder, under and around, and that will really make a massive difference for a lot of you guys out there. So that's the first little one there, guys. The next one is all about shoulder tilt. Now this is a very important one as well because this can really prevent a lot of you guys from again hitting some extra deep divots or getting stuck behind you. There's loads of benefits from it. But again, in the simplest term, what this is, when we swing up to the top of our backswing, we want our left shoulder, so for me, because I'm a right-hander, left shoulder to be lower than my right. So I want my left to be lower than my right because again, we're hitting a golf ball on the ground, we're swinging on an arc. To be able to continue to swing on that arc and hit that golf ball that's on the ground, I have to be tilted towards the ground. The ball isn't up in the air because if this ball was up here, of course, to hit it, I don't need that tilt to it. But because that's on the ground, I need tilt to it. If I start raising up in the backswing, I start getting up to the top of my backswing and my left shoulder gets higher, to get onto that ball, I have to make a compensation from there, which will ruin a lot of golfers. You know, you can see a classic over the top move, what have you. If we're gonna hit a ball successfully off the ground, we've got to stay tilted and even in the downswing as well. I will want to still keep my left side lower as I'm swinging down as well. So a simple thing to keep this in check, guys, is just club across the shoulders, making sure when you're turning in your backswing, you're getting that club pointing at that ball there. Really, really important. That will really help with strike, keeping again your club on path properly, and it'll really help you be consistent with ball flight, most importantly. So, really making sure that left shoulder is much, much lower. So it's definitely lower than the right, almost like a 90 degree angle, but we want to keep it simple here, guys. Left shoulder being lower than the right, that's it. Swinging around your shoulders, and you're going to hit the ball more consistently for it. So that's a really simple one, but I don't want to see you guys really getting up to the top of the backswing like this. I really don't want to see that because then something has to happen or getting up to the top of your backswing, we're in a nice spot and then doing this in order to get the club back on path. If you're swinging around your shoulders and you're keeping that tilt, there's no reason for you to have to change what your shoulders are doing in the downswing. It'll be silly. So if I get a couple more balls here, 
That's a nice, quick, little easy one for the second little thing there to keep it nice and simple. The second key, shoulder tilt. The last one here, guys, something that I see all the time for golfers that have been playing a long time as well. So obviously I do this a lot with beginners, but it would be so surprising how many golfers do this. And quite funnily enough, I remember a very long time ago when I did my coaching certification, we had a lesson test where as coaches, we were being examined on us giving lessons to individual people. And this was a person as soon, this my person I was giving the lesson to for this test, he came up and said to me, before the lesson even started, he said, do you know I've had a lesson with David Ledbetter? And I was like, okay, that's what you want to tell someone who has a, this is their, one of their first lessons they've ever given. And he told me I had a lesson with David Ledbetter. And then what do I see him do when he is in his follow through? This, keeping that back heel on the ground. Now, if he's had a lesson with David Ledbetter, you would have thought David Ledbetter would at least tell him to do this round there. And that's my third little key there. So important, but so overlooked a lot of time. Even the likes of David Ledbetter looks over it, obviously. So really twisting that foot, getting that back heel to lift up and come around through the ball. Now what this does, guys, this one helps with weight shift and this also helps with the last little bit of rotation. Now I don't want it to be like this, where you're hanging back and it's almost kicking out. I want it to be going forward and rotate that heel round as well. What we used to have, we used to have a really good old saying was like you've got a pair of spike shoes and on the back of those spike shoes, obviously you've got your spikes, you wanna show them to someone behind you. You wanna show them your spikes. That's a really good thing. So imagine there's someone behind you guys and then be showing them your spikes. And then again, that's really gonna help you get your weight through the shot. It's really gonna help you with that last little bit of rotation. And that will be a really good little thing. I don't wanna see people being back here. I'm just still amazed that David Ledbetter wasn't even able to pick that up. So what we wanna be doing guys, that will really help with weight shift, help with rotation. Don't be that guy that hangs back here because all you're gonna be doing, if you're back in this position, you're gonna be hitting the ball fat, thin, and very weak as well. Even if you do strike it well, ball is not going far. So what we wanna be doing, so you say, really making this all simple and tying it together, three things. We wanna be making sure we're swinging around our shoulders. Really swinging around our shoulders. That'll keep the club on path nicely. That'll keep everything working the way it would do. Your shape of shot is gonna be benefited because of it. Two, we wanna make sure we are keeping our tilt because if we are keeping our tilt with our left side lower, then we're keeping that club moving on plane properly. We're keeping it on its arc again. So it's all a lot of plane stuff and path stuff, but also we're hitting the ball off the ground. We can't do that by doing all this funny stuff with our upper body. We need to keep it here to be consistent. So then we can hit that ball consistently off the ground. Again, we're not playing baseball up here. Then we can have flat shoulders, balls on the ground. We need to keep them tilted. Second, thirdly, probably one of the most important ones as well, is making sure we're getting this back foot swiveling up and around like you see in the red of my shoes there, the spikes on the bottom of my shoes. That's gonna keep you rotating. That's gonna keep your weight shifting forward. It's gonna look better as well. It's like you're posing for a picture, getting in that nice spot there. So let's put the last one here, guys. Put it all together, making sure I'm swinging around my shoulders, making sure I'm really keeping my tilt and I'm getting these pointing at you. So really simple stuff here. And that there guys is golf swing simplified. That's how we're really gonna make this really nice and simple. Now, if you have a little bit of an idea about your golf swing and you know what you do and you don't do, let's say one of these you do perfectly fine. Then that makes it even simpler for you. You don't have to think of those three things. But I think probably the most beneficial one out for this guys is the swinging around the shoulders. I'll probably do another video at some time about that a little bit more in depth because that's super, super simple, but it really demystifies a lot of things about the golf swing. We can make golf as complicated or as easy as we want to. And I feel like a lot of golfers are gonna benefit massively from this video guys. So if you liked it, Please press that like button, it helps me out a ton. And again, if you're new to the channel and you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, you won't be disappointed. I put out three videos a week, really nice, simple golf instruction, just like this. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching and really make sure you're doing these keys and really keep the golf swing simple. Let's declutter that brain.